your Linkit Helper license comes with a plugin store. Plugin store is a library of free add-ons and extended features that are normally hidden but available for activation for free when you need them. Yes, you don't have to pay extra. Keep watching to learn how to use them. Plugins are organized around five sections. Actions – things that you can automate on the LinkedIn platform. Action extensions – advanced settings to enhance your actions. Message and action extensions – a group of settings and features to spice up your message templates. A few tools to manage profiles and replies are grouped under CRM. Campaigns will give you tools to enhance your campaigns in general. And a few plugins categorized as other. I've created a campaign to invite second and third level profiles and collected some profiles into it. Now I want this campaign to start a few days later. I would go to Plugin Store, find the Action Extensions, Postpone Action Start and click Install. Now it is in my settings and I can pick the desired date and time for my campaign. I also need to switch the platform for processing because I have profiles collected from the Sales Navigator and I want them to be invited via free LinkedIn platform. I'll go to Plugin Store and activate Override Platform plugin. Now it is also here and I'm able to switch the platform. As the next step of my campaign, I will find out who accepted my invitations and add the filter step. You don't have to jump back and forth to the plugin store each time you need to pick something there. You can see what plugins are available for the action highlighted in blue under Available optional plugins or under More plugins. Let's see what we have for the Filters tab. Here I will pick the Tagging system. I will assign a few tags to successfully processed profiles at this step. Let's activate Auto Accept Incoming Invites plugin. It will accept incoming invitations if it happens that someone from my campaigns list has invited me himself. In reviewing my campaign, I noticed a couple of profiles I'd like to remove from this list. Go to the plugin store. Scroll down to Campaigns and activate Exclude List plugin. Now the button to exclude profiles appeared on top of my list. As well as the Exclude List. I also need to make some notes in my campaign. In the same campaign section of the plugin store, I will pick campaign information. The information tab appeared in my campaigns menu and I can make some notes for future reference. Deactivating plugins is as easy as activating them. Just open the plugins from the Actions menu and click on Install. Or you can do the same in the Plugin Store.